Hello and welcome to Explain 10. This is once again the Jetstream 32. Uh, this one's a bit different. It is a ramp start and uh, I'm going to do a flight simulator economy flight with uh, two stops flying from Melbourne to Nihil uh, as a stop off and then finally stopping again in Adelaide. So um, going, I don't know, a couple hundred miles, a few hundred miles, something like that in total. Uh, with a bunch of jobs going to both places. Um, so it's a drop off pickup and then off to Adelaide. Um, you can see we've got <coughs> a bit of weather outside and I'm gonna go through the procedure checklist for uh, getting this aircraft up and running and um, taxiing and hopefully getting to where I need to go. So first thing I need to do is uh, check what I've got connected, which is right now, it is nothing. So I'm just going to click here on the yoke to bring up my uh, magic little selector box. And I'm going to get rid of this guy, so he is now gone. <coughs> I'm going to connect the, uh, the GPU. GPU? Yeah, GPU and the chocks. So now, um, I think, yep, I'm moving my yoke and in game my controls are all locked. Probably works. So I think that's just part of the cold start is that um, yeah everything is cold and everything is locked so it's pretty pretty nasty. Um, Alright first step uh, 24 volts won't need to worry about that. I'll set the main batteries to internal. So I'll go uh, ground, ground power. Yep, we've got ground power there. Um, I'm going to want some lights, so roof, that's important. Left instruments. Uh, let's just check that one. Did that... Yep, that's good. Alright, we've got some lights for inside here. <coughs> okay, so warnings come up because all sorts of things aren't running. Uh, so, done the ground power, switch the main avionics uh, bus to on. It's uh, there, main switch on, done. And we've got what sounds like aircon running. Okay, cool. Um, okay, engine management, they're both set to ground because we're doing a ground start, not a air start or an emergency start, so that's good. And we're doing a normal start, so manual start set to normal. Okay, check the generators. Set to the middle off position, that's right. Okay, and while I'm there I can reset them like so just to make sure. Okay, so we're going to open up the hydraulics and the fuel. You can see the fuel gets the little lock there like so to make sure we don't accidentally, accidentally turn that off uh, during flight. Okay we get oil warnings. Um, I'll check the fuel pressure is still at zero. Okay cross feed switch set to shut. Where is there? Yep, that's on shut. Uh, both computers. SRL computers, which as far as I understand, they manage the engine RPM and automatically feather the engine appropriately to uh, maximize our power and efficiency. And um, so they'll maintain the engine at or around 100% throttle, sorry, 100% RPM as we increase and decrease the throttle. I think. I might have that wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of the TTL, actually. SRL might actually handle the automatic start. <coughs> um, I'll set that to, uh, I think all the way back is good there for the RPM. And that controls basically the the pitch settings on the, road, on the uh, prop blades. Okay. 
So the next thing I'm going to do is select the left engine and hit start. Okay, here's all gas is coming up. RPM increasing. You can see that that it is spooling up. <coughs> and we're going to just check that it doesn't go beyond 650 exhaust gas, which it looks like it's not getting nowhere near. Uh, oil light is off, that's good, otherwise we'd be in trouble. Torque is at practically zero. Okay, so the start switches have turned off. The bus tie is on, that's what we want. <coughs> we can switch on the right generator. You can see the right generator is now producing uh, some power. And um, what's next? AC transfer switch to transfer. And then we want to reset the bus tie. <coughs> okay, so now that we've got some power from the left engine, we can use it to start the right engine. So we'll switch the master to internal power. bus position, so we'll set that, where is that, set that up to volts bat bus like so, cool, so we're no longer using the ground power, there's the AP, uh, sorry, the GPU down there, so I can, I should be able to, take that away, and, yep, power remains good, cool. Okay, hydraulic pressure on the brakes is good. Okay, because of that we can get rid of the chocks. Okay, pretty sure the park brake is set. So we'll select the right engine and start. And that lights up. Oil lamp is off, EGT is coming up, RPM slowly picking up, we can see that it's starting to spin. Looking good so far. Alright, as we go, those lights turn off, that's good. So uh, we'll switch that back to normal, AC transfer, switch on the right generator, reset the, uh, the bus tie. Alright, so we'll get the uh, smoking sign on, seat belts. Too much uh, left lane, right taxi, nav strobe. <coughs> don't need that, don't need that. Um, TTL, which I think is the RPM control. What else do we want? So we'll get the uh, the rest of the avionics soon in a minute. I'll just check the the volts battery. So maybe I'll start. Okay, 
so we'll get the oh it's just up there just out of sight there we are the non-essential stuff going um, weather radar GPS COM1, COM2, NAV1 NAV2 ADF ADF <clears throat> and at this point I will unlock the, uh, the control mechanism like so just confirm I have control, I have control have hydraulics, I can see the control services are moving. Um, right, I'll check my temperatures here, fuel lines are good, coolant flaps are open so the uh, oil lines are being cooled right now. Um, yeah, so we've got some warning lamps here, so it's good stuff. Uh, stall, <coughs> that's the stall, 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 stall protection, stall protection. And emergency lights. Um, that is armed. There we go. And beta. What the hell does beta mean? It's not that, is it? Put that to main. No, it's not that. Um, Just consult the oracle on what the beta means. Beta, propeller pitch angle controlled by power lever behind the idle flight. Okay, so I had that too far back. It's in there before. So it's now at taxi. Which is cool. Um, flight idle position. So we don't want that being behind flight idle, which is there. Okay. But weird. <coughs> okay, at this point, I'll get my. Uh, Screen wipers on. Yeah, um, lights are off. Seatbelts are on. I want to know where I'm going. So, where are we going? First stop. Uh, so Yankee November Hotel Lima. So, if I just get that in here, we'll do a direct to. Just make it nice and simple. Yankee. Oh, look at this way. November. Oh god, what is that? L. That'll be an M. That'll be an N. Hotel. Oh no. So I just I hate this interface sometimes. FGH and Lima. In the hill, yep, that's correct. So we've got 178 miles, direct track is 286, ground speed is zero, the track is 347. Um, okay, and I'm never going to get there at the speed, so 645 minutes. <coughs> All right, so now I'm happy with, uh, with that, I can start my taxi. <coughs> So I'll uh, I'll get this uh, bird turned around. I don't actually know where I'm going. I might just do a quick cheat with the taxi side of things. Um, yeah, I really don't know where I'm going. I don't see any signs. Runway. Runway's behind me. See where that guy's going. Okay, so um, without you 
using any ground control or anything. I'm just going to do a little U-turn. And follow the light. What could go wrong? get ready to take off, so flaps to one, which I'll do uh, flaps to two. I think I'm at Melbourne International Airport. <coughs> Not entirely sure. So I'm going to jump into, in just a moment, uh, Flight Simulator Economy. You can have a look at the interface there. Oh man, can I just jump in here? Why not? see traffic's driving around on the road next to uh, the town. What are we on? Runway 17. So, <coughs> heading bug to runway heading, like so. Desired altitude, we'll just get something in there for now. Flap set. Right. Power lever, forward to flight. And um, other than that, we're pretty much ready to go. So we will uh, jump to flight some of the X economy. <coughs> You can see we've got my username and password here, so I just click login, game freezes for a moment, and I can start flight, and it pulls in uh, my fuel load, and it pulls in my passengers, and we're ready to go to Nihil, so, yep, all set, so power forward, brakes off, Just watching these lights here, which indicate that we're over 100% RPM, we want to just slowly roll it forward so the feathering can keep up, uh, so we're not pulling too many revs, there's a bit of, bit of rudder input required here. Why am I f taking off straight into a massive building? So I'm just going to rotate now, positive rate of climb. Here goes up. <coughs> okay, we'll get rid of one flaps. You can see my vertical speed dies really quickly when I do that. The speed is creeping up. Okay, so just trimming that in. Flaps goes up. Just Compensate for the vertical speed loss as I do that, and trim that in. Bit of right roll going on, so I'll trim that in as well. And I'll do about a thousand feet per minute. <coughs> like so, so let's get uh, vertical speed locked in, heading, and servos on. Okay, so on the GPS we're going to get, uh, instead of vertical or localizer, vertical localizer, GPS 
for our navigation system. You can see we are way off course, so we need to do a U-turn. So I'll just set my desired heading out like so. Make sure my flaps are up, make sure my gear's up. And we are on our way. Okay, so let's do, yeah, maybe 10,000 feet. Altitude select, so that will intercept the, uh, the altitude and, um, and lock that in. Once it hits 10,000, it will go to altitude hold mode. <coughs> Turbulence. Outside air temperature, just yeah, it's what 15 degrees. That's nowhere near needing ice protection, so that's good. If I did, they're all pretty much along this uh, front panel here. The ice protection. Um, you can see we're coming in on course, so I'll just start that left turn to intercept my flight, my uh, track. Is good, speed is good. the aircraft to um, intercept that flight plane like so and just keep that locked in so holy crap <coughs> looks like we might need to deviate god damn Australian weather I'll right, we'll keep an eye on that but we might need to do a manual heading change so I'll just put that heading bug off to the right just in preparation this isn't 100% modelled, you can see I can click, click on the range of this weather radar and don't do nothing. So I think it's set to yeah, 40, 40 miles, which is um, not that far. So sometimes you've got to react pretty quickly. I wonder if I could fly through that. I can't see anything in front of me. away now. We'll see what pops out in front of me. But pretty happy with the way we are, so I will turn off some unneeded lights, turn off the seat belt, and turn on the cabin lights. So those are on. those clouds don't look so bad they look like they're well above me I'll see what happens um, I have had it in X-Plane where I flew a plane in weather that you probably shouldn't fly through and um, oh yes here we go bad things happened 
pretty much couldn't see where I was going and the airplane would just would not fly, it was just literally just being blown over. So um, that alarm means we are 1,000 feet away from our designated altitude that I've dialed in here is the selected altitude, so it's just a warning that pretty soon we're going to be levelling out, there's no auto throttle in this aircraft, so I need to monitor my speed, which is right now a little bit too fast, and as the altitude, there it is at 600, as it gets up to the, the 10th thousand, my speed is going to shoot up, so I'm going to drop the <coughs> I'm going to drop the RPM and slow us down and we are in capture on the altitude right now, so the vertical speed's dropping off is it getting a bit nasty? No. And the speed is not shooting up because I've reduced the throttle, so that's good. Alright, it's so up above me there. There's some form of weather system. But definitely no threat. turbulence though. Alright, so I mean it's a pretty simple plane to fly once you learn it. Um, I might turn off the cooling while we're up here. Right, I'll see what auto on the cooling does. Well, we are hitting rain again. Probably can't see that without the uh, high definition. <coughs> okay. see that weather system is above us and we're just flying into its rain by the looks of things. It's really not causing much of a problem though, so I'll probably pick this up again once we're a little bit closer to our destination. Alright, let's uh, get ourselves ready to land. So, <coughs> side headings at about 2,000 feet, so I'm going to start at a So I'm going to turn off the server. Whoa, that's overall. Okay. <coughs> Trim that out, those down, reduce power, so on and so forth. Oh, this trim is so slow. Alright, um, probably one about. Oh god, get the seat right. <coughs> Bit of a speed. That on. Uh, where I am landing must be the shortest airstrip I have ever seen, so hopefully I can do it. <coughs> Just going to see what the actual flight manual says about minimum strip size. Oh yeah, no, we're well within the limits for the strip size, it's 2700 feet, we're landing on about 3000. That said, I might land uh, halfway down it and crash, so that'd be, that'd be a shame. Um, just gonna, so the, the runway is on a heading of 271, so I am going to Go off to the right. I'll just do that like so, heading mode. Start that right turn. Let's see, we're flying through a bit of weather. And I'll just uh, reduce the power right back because we are 
too fast. Ah, our oil temperature is getting way too cold, so I'm going to shut shut those cooling flaps. It's getting down to just a couple of degrees, so we should see those that oil temperature come back up. So the direct track is 283, I want that to get to about 271, then make a turn towards um, the airfield, just keep that power right back, keeps our speed somewhere that makes sense, it's only about 11 miles, so <coughs> that would be it there. So we'll start that turn. There is the airstrip. Oh god, uh, there's actually two airstrips there. I think one of them's grass. <coughs> Alright, and I'm going to drop the gear. Something like landing light, landing light, seat belts on, lights out, folks, so on and so forth. Um, oh god. We've got a cooling problem here. Why is one cooling flap. Why are they both open? They said to shut. Hmm. All right, I'm going to take over manual control. Keep that power right back. We're really bleeding off the speed. Um, there's nothing really much to help me land, so I'll just do a total visual approach. Um, hopefully, we'll get rid of a bit more speed as we come in. That. Where is it? There. So we're a little bit off to the right. I'll just swing it back to line up hopefully a little bit more. We're slowing down. I'll get the flaps out. Switch our descent rate. Full flaps. <coughs> Looks like we're off to the left now, so I'll just slightly correct. feet. There's a bus going underneath us as we come into land. Oh, that's a small strip. Oh god. I 
not that confident with this plane yet. I've had it, I don't know, a week, two weeks, but landings are still a bit iffy. I'll just start the flare. Ooh. There we have it. I'll just try and get that back on the center line. <coughs> that pretty much is... Oh no, they had a bit of space. That's right. But we have arrived. Everyone can breathe a sigh of relief. 